everyone, it's Maddie here. I'm gonna do a quick intro to this little vlog. I am going to the beach in two days. So I figured why not be cheesy as hell and take <laughs> Beach Read by Emily Henry to go read at the beach. Now it's only like a two day beach trip. So I'm not even going for that long. I know I can finish this book. It's not even, it's like 360 pages. I'll be fine. I'll read a little bit in the car. I may get a little car sick, but I'll worry about that when it comes. But I'm actually going for my boyfriend and I's four year anniversary and we haven't had time together just alone in like eight or nine months because we opened our business in November. So it's been a very long time since I've had some time alone with him, but I know he has to do some work. He also wants to watch these UFC fights on Saturday night. So I know that I have plenty of time to read and I'll be on the beach a lot so I can sit there and read a book about the beach. <laughs> but I actually have no idea what it's about. I know it's about a boy and a girl, Augustus in January, who are both in writing blocks because they're authors. I'm not really sure what happens with them, but I'm guessing that <laughs> they meet and I'm pretty sure they switch genres and they have to write each other's genre for like a bet or something. I haven't read any spoilers or anything. I have heard mixed reviews about whether the plot is good or whether the character development is good, but I'm excited to read it. But I think it'll be a good break because I just read a really dense fantasy series. Happy to have a little palate cleanser. And then I also have Emily Henry's second book that she wrote that came out last month people we meet on vacation. And I'm going to the beach again in August with my family. So I will probably end up doing another vlog for that book. So this can be kind of like a two part series. So if you're wondering if this book is worth the hype because I know it has been hyped up a lot, <laughs> then continue watching and see if I end up liking it. Okay, I'm sitting outside on the beach and I was so happy but I'm about to start reading a little bit I did last night read 95 pages and I'm not gonna give my thoughts just yet because I'm not quite sure I kind of like it I think that what's his name Augustus I kind of like how angsty he is and dark and brooding but I'm not quite sure I like the main character January just yet anyway I'm gonna sit out here and read a little bit and I will pop in probably at the 50% mark. All right, so really quick, I'll pause and I just wanna talk. I, so this book is called Beach Read and I think for this video, I kinda wanted to do like, is this really a beach read? And I think it's so cute. It's definitely like a romance <laughs> already. Um, you can kind of tell where it's going and I'm totally okay with that. I think most romances are kind of predictable. I will say, I know that January is going through some stuff. Just so you know, there might be some spoilers in the next few seconds. So just skip if you're not wanting to spoil anything. But January obviously has found out that her dad basically was cheating on her mom like for God knows how long. And he had a second house and everything. So she's staying at the second house, which is on the beach. And I understand that she's going through some stuff. Her dad has passed away and her dad obviously loved her mother. I think a lot of people need time for trauma to go away, especially unexpected trauma. I think for the sake of a book, I think this should speed up a little bit. It's probably really windy, I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm liking it so far, so I'm gonna continue reading. I forgot my sunglasses at the house and I'm struggling a little bit. My eyes are watering from trying to keep them open, but cool. Another pause really quick. I'm kind of confused. I definitely see Emily Henry's point of being like, their arch nemesis is, nemesis is you know, they're, they're enemies, they hate each other. But you can obviously tell, this is kind of like the hating game when I read it. I was like, they're obviously not enemies. Like I can just tell. Yeah, in college they were competing for the same grades, but that does not mean that they were enemies. And I can just tell like January is so over exaggerating the fact that they should hate each other. But it's very obvious that Augustus is just like 
doesn't hate her. I would not classify this as an enemies to lovers book at all. All right, just doing a little update. I am really liking it. I'm about 50% of the way through, and I think that January's character is growing, growing on me a little bit. I didn't really like her at first, but I'm kind of now realizing like her situation is really tough and Augustus is very understanding. Again, I kind of don't know why the whole arch nemesis or like they were enemies was a thing because I don't think they were enemies in the first place. Like in college, she describes that they were always competing for better grades or like they were competing against each other, but I don't necessarily think that means they're enemies. And now I definitely see the flirty, cute banter back and forth, which I love. I love how they're spending more time together. It doesn't seem like a rushed relationship. You know, they're spending the whole summer together um, because they're neighbors. January is very, uh, she's a big romantic, obviously, because she writes romance novels. And I relate to her a lot because even though that I think a lot of romance novels can be cheesy, I think that if you romanticize your life, it makes everything a little bit more fun. I know that this book has been out for about a year, um, and when I did this vlog, I was actually gonna read two books. I was gonna read Emily Henry's Beach Read and her People We Met at Meet on Vacation, but I cannot read, I don't think I can read two books in, two days and I could but I'm on, a, I'm on vacation too so I'm not spending my, all my time reading so I think that this book is a good beach read. <laughs> I know that's kind of cheesy but it's really perfect for the beach in my opinion. It's short. I know I'll finish it by tonight or tomorrow. Now her other book I wanted to read on this vacation as well but since it was only a weekend trip, I can't read two books in two days basically. But I know this book has been reviewed a lot so I'm sorry if this is a repetitive video that you've seen people do too many times or this is such a popular book that you're sick of seeing it everywhere um, but I thought that this would be a cute little video kind of cheesy but happy that I picked it up because I definitely needed a palette cleanser I just read a heavy fantasy series Brock and I just got back from the beach and I'm about to go shower we're gonna go to dinner tonight and he likes watching UFC fights so I'm gonna read while he watches those. But yeah, I will update again probably tonight where I'm at, tell you a little bit more about the plot and how I'm feeling about the characters. All right, beach trip is over. We are in the car right now getting some food before we head out. Dovey's very stressed. Brock ran into the bathroom and he's not liking this. Um, but I did finish Beach Read by Emily Henry. I really enjoyed it really enjoyed it. I definitely was waiting for that little twist where um, January didn't know that Augustus had previously been married. So, you know, everything was going great in their like newfound relationship and um, everything was really cute. There's a lot of witty banter. Loved it. Very flirty. It was probably my favorite like banter back and forth that I've read in a romance because they were just like polar opposites, but it worked really well. So everything's going well. And of course, January finds out that he previously had a wife and he's always told her that he's very against happy endings. He knows, you know, no one's ever chosen him. Like everything's just kind of shitty in his life and he doesn't believe in true love, but yet he was married. So that kind of threw a wrench in her like opinion about him for a little bit. Then obviously he does some explaining. He opens up a little bit more. Then they come back around. Everything's good and going great. Her writing progress, you know, her writing block is kind of gone. Everything is going good. And you know, there were still some up and downs at the end, not in like a detrimental way towards the relationship, but in a good way. And they fixed through it. It was such a cute book. I mean, again, we were only on the beach for one day. So <laughs> I got a lot of reading done yesterday. So it was a good, quick little book to read. If you're on the edge on whether if you should read this book or not, I think you should. I typically stay towards fantasy romancy. I like romances with people with pointy ears, but oh, here comes Brock. <laughs> but this is a great little palate cleanser and I definitely would recommend it to you. I don't know what he's doing, but that's all I have to say for now. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay. So I know that was kind of a quick vlog um very short review on the book beach read and again i loved the book i definitely would recommend it i ended up rating it four out of five stars on goodreads mostly because 
I thought this beginning was a bit slow and I would have liked it to pick up quicker since it is just a one book. It's not like a series, but other than that, I really liked it. January really grew on me and Augustus I liked from the beginning. He was really angsty and kind of full of himself, but you got to know him a little bit better. You got to know both of their histories and their traumas. It was a good short little beach read. Let's see what I did there. Other than that, I'm gonna peace out. You can follow me on Instagram, at ManyDicksFit, which is my main account, or out of five stars, which is my bookstagram. I haven't been very active on my bookstagram recently because I need to go take pictures of my books so I can post them, <laughs> but those will come soon. But anyway, thanks for watching.